Hello and welcome to the Oak and Lamb YouTube channel. My name is Becca Oaks. I'm an owner and craft educator here at Oak and Lamb. If you are a beginner sewist or sewer, however you want to say it, this video is going to be great for you. I want to talk to you about some of my favorite items to use while I'm sewing. In my opinion, if you're a beginner, you should have all of these items. I have used and tested out lots of different supplies and what I'm bringing you today are my favorites and ones that I reach for constantly when I'm sewing. Before we head to the overhead camera, I do want to talk about the obvious thing and that's a sewing machine. You can get so many different sewing machines. I recommend doing something that's relatively inexpensive uh, for a couple of reasons. One, my mom has been sewing for years and years and has bought very expensive machines all the way down to not super expensive machines. And her report even recently is I'm, I'm through buying really expensive machines because they just tear up and then I have to pay to have them fixed or I have to have them maintenance. And I would rather just buy a less expensive sewing machine, run it into the ground and buy a new one. This one is a really great machine. It is the Brother XR9550 and it's around $200. It is a very beginner friendly sewing machine, but it does a really, really good job. It comes with a variety of different heads and little components that you will need for sewing. Along with the sewing machine, you are going to be needing thread and bobbin. So grab some of those. I recommend getting a little bit of an assortment of threads, like in neutral colors that you would use a lot, whites, blacks, browns, grays, those types of things, and bobbins and going ahead and just keeping those stocked and um, with plenty of thread on them. Also, while I'm talking about the sewing machine, make sure that you have plenty of extra needles for your sewing machine. There's nothing worse than being in the middle of a project and your needle breaking and you not having any extra to complete the project. So grab some extra needles that fit your sewing machine. But while we're on the needle topic, this little case is one of my favorite things. I have a lot of sewing needles in here, but I love it because it just is super easy to keep all of them in one spot. It screws on so I don't have to worry about it popping off. And I don't have to worry about little ne or needles being in my carpet or different things like that. Maybe they've fallen off my table because they're all in here. And it spares my feet and my children's feet because I can't sew with shoes on. Um, so if these are in the floor, it would not be a good thing. So this little case, while not essential, is very nice. Next up is a measuring tape. Now, if you all have been around here at Oak and Lamb at all, you know that a measuring tape is my favorite supply. I have one in basically any pocket that I have access to while I'm crafting. I have them on my desk and drawers. They're basically everywhere because it's just so nice to have them whenever you need them. You should always measure several times when you are sewing, especially because there's nothing worse than having to go back and rip seams out and, and um, redo things. That's such a pain. So lots of measuring tapes. It doesn't really matter uh, what kind. I like a sturdier one, kind of a thicker one. It's just my preference. But as far as width and whatnot, I really don't care. I prefer the ones um, that that um, don't auto retract just because I like to put this around my neck sometimes for easy access and things like that. But whatever your preference is, just make sure you have something to measure with. On the note of ripping seams out, you also probably need a seam ripper. Now a lot of machines come with a seam ripper in um, the little bag of tools and things. Um, I know my brother did, the brother sewing machine did, uh, but if you don't have one, then grab one. Next up are some little bitty scissors. Now these Tim Holtz are my favorite. They're super cute, um, but they feel really good as well. These come in actually three different sizes. We have all of them here at Oak and Lamb, but I just love these specifically because when you are finished with the seam um, or just cleaning up your finished garments and things like that, little bitty scissors are so much easier to go in and snip those extra little uh, ends of strings. You can also use these, which are really nice, but these are my preference. Still talking about scissors, I highly recommend that you have a pair of fabric scissors. Now you want to designate a pair of fabric scissors. 
so that they are not dull. If you have children in your home or roommates or somebody who might come into your craft room, your sewing room and use your scissors, maybe even right on here, fabric only, so that they know not to cut cardstock or cardboard or anything that's gonna dull your fabric scissors. You definitely do not want that. Um, I like these that are by Fisker. They're the easy action. So while you're cutting, it's super easy. Um, that spring just pushes that back up for you. It pushes it back open for you and just makes cutting fabric really easy. While we're talking about cutting fabric, I also want to recommend that you have a rotary cutter. Now, rotary cutters come in two different sizes. You can see actually a couple of different sizes, but these are the, the um, main sizes. It's a 45 millimeter and a 60 millimeter. I really don't have a preference either way. Um, I like both sizes. I do have a preference on the style of rotary cutter. This is a Cricut rotary cutter, and I got it because it fits in my little Cricut caddy that I have. However, I do not like this rotary cutter. The reason is that when I cut with a rotary cutter, I put my finger right here for more pressure. And when I do that, this blade is out and I cut my finger on this every single time. So I don't use this one anymore. I went and got this one that doesn't fit nicely in my Cricut Caddy, but I also don't cut my finger. So it just, it's a Fisker one as well. You just click down like that. I, you can cut this way or this way, it doesn't matter. And then you push this button and it retracts. It's really nice. This one just feels better. It's more, it, it just feels better in my hand. While we're talking about rotary cutters, you can see here I have the self-healing mat. These self-healing mats come in so many different sizes. Um, this one is by Fisker. There are several different brands as well, but I love this 36 inch one. I generally don't need anything bigger than this. Um, but I don't want something super small either. If you're going to be quilting and doing lots of little pieces, maybe something smaller would be better um, if you have a smaller space, but I get everything done on this mat and never need a different size. Um, so it, th what you're going to be using this mat for is for cutting out your fabric. Um, it is self-healing, like I said, so you can use your rotary blade on it, it will not hurt it. Um, but while we're talking about this, let's also talk about these quilters rulers, which are not just for quilters, they're, all, they're for anybody who's going to be cutting fabric, honestly. Um, these are by OmniGrid. And you can see that one is yellow and one is sort of lime green. That's because one is OmniGrid and one is OmniGrip. I started out using OmniGrid before I knew any better. Um, and now I only use OmniGrip because the OmniGrip doesn't slide as much. It is very, very nice. These are fantastic because it helps you get straight edges when you're cutting. Um, they come in so many different sizes. There's, they're all the way from like, I think even a one by one inch square all the way up to even bigger than this. Um, uh, one by or one by sixes, so many different sizes, but th this is my favorite size and it is the six uh, by 24. And I got this one, honestly, the only reason that I got it was because I needed to fill a space on our pegboard back here. But I have actually used it too because it's a little bit smaller and easier to work with if I'm um, cutting smaller things. So either one of these is fine. However, the Omni Grip is my favorite. Next up, we have disappearing ink markers. And what this is for, you see there's a purple end here and a blue end over here. If you need to make marks on your fabric where you'll be drawing or sewing a seam, say for instance, this is my shirt and I want to sew a seam right up the center, I would place this here in the center of my shirt grab a grab this this pen make a mark and then sew on that mark and then you this dissolves so there are different kinds there are some that just evaporate and then there are some that you have to take a wet uh, towel or a wet spritzer bottle and wet it down and then it it dissolves so this is really great grab one of these you, they also have chalk um pencils that you can use for this purpose for darker materials. Um, so maybe grab one of those as well. These right here, I only found out about later in my sewing life and I absolutely 
Love them. These are sewis clips, and this is fantastic for pinning your fabric together. Um, traditionally, you would use straight pins like this, which I still have a need for straight pins, uh, which is why I brought them out here. So um, we're not discrediting straight pins. However, the sewis clips are super, super easy to keep your uh, layers of material together. You can do several layers, even not just two. Um, these are relatively inexpensive and come in even larger clip sizes, probably about like this actually. Um, so different sizes. However, this is my most used size. And then, like I said earlier, straight pins as well. Um, you want to use straight pins if you're trying to pin something in the middle of a pattern or something like that where your clips would not be uh, feasible. Next up is sort of a combo topic. This is a mini easy press, which we use a lot for heat transfer vinyl and things like that. However, it's one of my favorite things to use while I'm sewing. It is absolutely amazing to just have it right next to me it heats up really quick it's very easy to sew or to um, iron down or press down seams it's really easy if you are quilting and need to just iron down a little piece of fabric I love this thing and 100% recommend using it if you are sewing and I have our large easy press mat here as well because I don't have an ironing board in my home I don't need one, but this right here sort of doubles as that. Um, so you're going to need something that is heat protectant on your surface that you are ironing on. And this doubles for so many different things. I just recommend having it as well. So those are my favorite things that I would suggest that you buy if you are just starting out sewing. Now, that's not a comprehensive list of everything that you might need. For instance, you may do a project where you need um, bias tape or fusible interfacing, different things like that. But these are the main supplies that I recommend having in your sewing room. If you liked this video, give us a thumbs up. If you are not already a subscriber here at Oak and Lamb, make sure that you go ahead and subscribe and turn on notifications so that you know when we're live. If you are new to sewing, that's something that we love to talk about here at Oak and Lamb. In addition to sewing, we also love crafting in the Cricut world, in sublimation, in Glowforge, woodworking, home decor, and more. I want to invite you to click the link below and become a member of the Oak and Lamb flock where you will get all sorts of education on all of the craft genres that I just spoke about, as well as access to our entire library of cut files with free commercial use license. And my favorite part is access to our flock, which is our private community of crafters here at Oak and Lamb. It's the most supportive, amazing heartfelt loving group of people there is and i think that you would love to be a part as well if you have any questions about anything that we talked about in the video today leave a comment down below and we will answer it thank you so much for watching this video i'll see you here another day for another video